I think I have COVID. <laughs> Hear me out. I, uh, I was online shopping, as we're all doing, because there's nothing else. And uh, I saw a pair of Birkenstocks. <gasps> and I thought, those are cute. <laughs> and uh, maybe uh, a pair of socks up to the knee, because winter's coming up. And I thought, oh my God, I think I've just lost my sense of taste. <laughs> <laughs> so, luckily, it's slimming. It's um, I'm uh, I'm American, but don't worry, I'm not. Uh, break this thing. I'm American, but I'm not a cunt. I uh, I can't fire a gun. I'm from California, so I can fire my yoga teacher, but I can't fire a gun. But my sister bought a gun because she's terrified that the terrorists can see her. I'm like, we'll cut back on the rich desserts, and then. <laughs> Because she's a big one. And then, uh, I mean, they roll her in and roll her out. But then she said, but what about my daughter? What if they kidnap my daughter? I'm like, they'll return her. Because <laughs> she's a bit of a bitch. And um, when they do, she might be bilingual. <laughs> Think of little Maddie. So I, um, Netflix says she's alive. She'll be back better than ever. I, uh, little tan line working hard. I, uh, Sucking it like a trailer, it's, but that's our two and a half million. She fucking better. And Trump upsets me because he, he doesn't think that black lives matter. And I think black lives matter. I do. Um, I love it when those black guys on those, those football fields in America take the knee. I love all that. Taking the knee. It's adorable, right? <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, that football player, took the knee. I, I thought when you're negotiating with Nike, you had to spend, you know, all your time on both knees. But actually... <laughs> I think the real problem is, is those football players' girlfriends. Every time they go to propose, they think there's a fucking issue. But I, I have a very special place in my heart uh, for strong black men. And uh, I've dated a lot of black guys. I've got a bit of black in me. Actually, my husband's Brazilian, so it's kind of the same thing. And he's, uh, I've been married to him for a while, so I'm in pain. And... Um, <laughs> He pounds away at me back there, my husband, like I'm held against my will. And uh, like a crime scene back there. Jesus Christ, like, it's like CSI my hole, seriously. My, my ass looks like the back of Kennedy's head. So it is, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, but that's marriage, right? It's a compromise. If I let him rape me, he makes me a meal. And um, that's my rape, ladies. You can't have it. It is, though, I didn't know the truth about marriage, right? I thought, well, let's jump in. The straights want us to do it so badly. All the sacrifices my progressive friends made so I could get married. You know, the shopping and waitress and the yoga classes. And now, here I am, yanked off the streets on uh, the, the prime of my life. I mean, it's a Tuesday. I should be at GAY if it were still there, dancing away, right? Snorting, snorting coke off a hooker's cock. Instead, I'm babysitting Yukons. Or, you know, I, I'm in Sainsbury's on a Friday. Chicken or fish, chicken or fish. The party's fucking over. Your strategy worked. <laughs> Because the truth about marriage is you never have a moment to yourself ever again. I woke up with my husband staring down at me this morning. I'm like, what the fuck? Kapuro, I'll be with you till the end. That sounded like a threat. And um, <laughs> it's good though to have a bodyguard because not all gigs are this groovy, you know? I was doing a show for gay pride peoples, whatever that means, in Cardiff. Are there any Welsh, um, any Welsh? No, they're, 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 yeah, they're cunts. We were there. They voted to leave. I wish they'd fuck off. Although I kind of think they need the English to build bridges so they have somewhere to live under. But anyway, we were there. And I don't know who to associate myself uh, politically with. I don't really believe any one sort of dogma. I'm not a fan of Boris Johnson's. I mean, I like his initials, but I'm not a... Um, <laughs> The dandruff makes me nervous. And it is strange. I was there in Cardiff doing a gay pride and I thought it was gonna, gonna be fun. I didn't know it was gay pride. I don't know where I am half the time. You're all just floating clouds going by to me. But I, I usually just pay, take my paycheck and wallow back to my hotel room at the, at the Holiday Inn. But these people seemed, I don't know, like they wanted someone to kind of portray them in a positive way, which makes me resist, you know what I mean? I mean, I do think, you know, I do think COVID is a bad thing and I do think that it's transphobic, but that's because, <laughs> 
three trans people have died with COVID. I, that doesn't sound like a lot, but there's so few of them anyway that... <laughs> clearly it's taking aim, and I don't mind... I, you know, I don't mind the clitoris. I'm not a fan either way, right? It's not really the vag that bothers gay men, it's more the smell. We all know this. We're, we're all just wild animals sniffing around. I have fingered a girl, hello? And she's here tonight. No, I don't. I did not finger, not her. I mean, this chick was hot and it was weird. I, I, no, 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 I mean, no, I mean, I know, I mean young. Anyway, it, it, it's kind of, no. <laughs> and she was, uh, she's like, finger me. I'm like, you, you. And she said, no, dig around in my southern kitchen. So I'm looking around and it felt spongy and uh, sticky, sticky and spongy. And uh, good drag name for you, actually. And uh, I spent some time in there and she came on my hand, which was so rude because I just had a manicure. And then she dumped me because I wouldn't fuck her up the ass. Look at me now. So I don't really have... I didn't really have a thing either way, you know? And my, my husband, I just feel I, like I want to be looked after. I feel like he's powerful enough to do this. We are at this gig, like I said, in Cardiff, and I was doing my shit. And I couldn't find him. He was out there selling drugs to the staff. And so, <laughs> and so I, would, I, felt, I sensed resistance from the audience a little bit, you know? I, I'm not a fist-waving, not in a good way, kind of gay person, you know? <laughs> and I went to leave the stage, and I heard the patter of little webbed toes behind me, and I turned. <laughs> And I assumed as a local Welsh gay tart gonna thank me for using a box full of gay inbreds for 40 minutes. But it wasn't, it was this, I think it was a woman. I don't know, I'm not meant to say, well, I shouldn't call you, I don't need that's wrong. I meant to call you an it, which sounds ruder, but really, nice rack. And I can say that because I'm gay and I don't want to own them or own you, it's fine, whatever. But this woman, I, 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 I meant to not speak about gender, right? Although you're a guy, correct? Yes. Oh, maybe you're on a journey. Maybe, maybe you're like Caitlyn Jenner, right? I love Caitlyn Jenner, huge, through the roof, the tallest tranny ever. She's like six foot 12. She's, oh, she's Bigfoot in a fucking ball gown. Me tranny, me pretty now. Okay, whatever, let's go along with it. Can't say anything mean about that ugly fuck, but you know what I mean, right? It's because the surgery is so desperate. That's why people take pity, right? Because you know how they do the surgery, right? They, they, they take the cock. If I, if I were a doctor, pardon me? I just want the hair. You, you just want the hair, I know. Or some attention from a gay comic in front of you. You are <laughs> flirting with me outrageously right now. Daddy's working. Well, this... I'll see you in the toilets. This, uh, but you won't see me. <laughs> but you'll wake up tomorrow thinking, God, that beer made my ass hurt. This thing, the cert, they take your, if you were to change, they take the penis and they shove it inside. Hurrah, you're a lady. That's all a woman is, someone with her cock indoors. I kind of knew that already. But the other surgery is more desperate. Like if you became a guy, madam, it would make sense because the penis, it pays for itself in two years. But the surgery is, <laughs> It's quite brutal, the surgery. You know, they, do, they take the vagina and they talk some sense into it. So I'm just saying... <laughs> brace yourself to win an argument with strategy instead of tears for a change. I love the trip. I've been raped by a trans, actually. I was, uh, I was at a club, sex club, and I met this uh, person, looked like a great guy from afar. I'm nearsighted, towel on. I didn't really notice anything, but I went to finger the person. And I'm looking around, and I'm, I'm doing the, and I couldn't find any testicles. There were no balls. Oh, where are the balls? I'm like, oh my god, I, I don't, I, where, what's going on? Uh, is this a Lib Dem? And then, um, right? <laughs> 